okay students welcome back to the lecture series of advanced php today we are going to start with chapter number 5 that is introduction to web services the table content is definition of web services basic operational model of web services tools and technology enabling web services benefits and challenges of using web services web service architecture and its characteristics core building blocks of web services standards and technologies available for implementing web services web service communication model and basic steps of implementing web services so student basically what is web service introduction part what is web services so a web services are used to allow user to access data from different sources like the android app ios app websites etc from a centralized database we can also create web services through two methods that is simple object access protocol also known as soap and representational state transfer also known as rest so student basically web service is nothing but we can allow user to access data from different sources like android app ios app website and through different types of web services method like that is soap simple object access protocol and representational state transfer that is rest now what is simple object access protocol that is soap soap is nothing but it is a simple object access protocol which is easy to read because soap based is soap is based on xml soap is the xml based format for sending and receiving data second one we have that is rest representational state transfer representational state transfer it is an architectural style that run over http rest web services generate status code response in json and xml rest supports all http method get post put and delete get is nothing but it is used to retrieve particular source from an id post is used to create a new resource post after post we have up, uh, put put is used for update a particular resource by an id and delete is to remove a particular resource basic operational model of web services tools and technology enabling there are two types of services that we have already studied that is soap and rest soap is nothing but it is object software object oriented simple object orient uh, sim simple object access protocol basic basically it is a protocol that is used to provide and develop service message messages over the internet by using http protocol simple object access protocol basically student it is a protocol that is based on xml we can collect and provide services over the internet by using http protocol soap was intended to be way to remove procedure calls to remote objects by sending xml over http if you look at the current software industry you will find that soap is being used in the enterprise application generally in legacy code today the world is moving fast towards the rest full web services second one we have rest web services also known as representational state transfer the full form rest is not a set of standards or rules rather it is a style of software architecture the application which follow the architecture referred to as restful unlike so which targets the action rest concerns more on the resource rest locates the resource by using url and it depends on the type of transport protocol like by using http get and post method also you can use put and delete for the actions to be performed by the resources second thing we have that is benefits and challenges of web 
services now what are the benefit and challenges of web services so basically the advantages or benefit of web services are which includes application and data integration versatility code reuse and cost saving and challenges we have two of the most common concerns when using web services are web services security issue such as buffer overflow xml injections and session hijacking which can lead to data corruption malicious code execution data theft and privilege encalation web service performance issues such as dn dns issue that is domain name server issue network connectivity slow server poorly written code lack of load balancing traffic spikes and bandwidth usage which can affect the speed reliability and user experience of web application next one we have architecture of web services the web services architecture describes how to initiate the elements and implement the operations in an in interoperable manner the architecture of web web services interacts among three roles service provider service requester and service registry the interaction involves the three operations publish find and blind publish bind and find this operation and rules act upon the web services artifacts the web services artifacts are the web services software module and its description the service provider host a network associable module web service it defines a service description for the web service and publish it to a service requester or service requester which is used to find to retrieve the service description locally or manually registry it uses the service description to bind with the service provider and involve their service implementation so student we will just wind up the topic uh, session right now and the next topic that is web service architecture is we will characteristics web service characteristics this we will continue in the next session a quick revision what we did in today's session student we have started with chapter number 5 that is your introduction to web services introduction to web services we have seen what is basically web service under that we have seen two types of protocol soap and second one representational state transfer we have seen basic operation model of web services tool and technology enabling we have seen what are the benefits and challenges of web services so we'll wind up the session right now in the next session we will continue the remaining chapter thank you